So I wanted to share a couple of items that I bought from Amazon that I wanted to take on this trip. And this is the first one. I saw this item on Amazon and it's a three in one selfie stick. And I know a lot of times when my husband and I go on vacation, there's never anybody to ever take our picture. And sometimes I do want a picture for us. And I have a ton of stands, but I did like this one because I felt like it was very compact. Now, this is a little bit bigger than I thought it was going to be, but it's still small nonetheless because this is in there. It extends to not only a tripod. This reminds me of my gimbal, the bottom part of it, because it does set up as a tripod like that. And that's what my gimbal does. And you screw this part in here, which I'm assuming you carry separate or you can leave it on. And it's for, this is the part that holds your phone. So you just screw it on there. And then this extends out like that. And then you put your phone in here. So this helps to widen it. So if you want it to put it landscape or let's see how far out this goes. Can't imagine that it's really, well, it might be really, really long. It starts to get a little shaky as I'm as it's extending further and yeah see it came loose there now so that is the furthest that it would go without creating some havoc with it and you got to make sure it lines up to put it back in but let me grab a phone So I would say this doesn't extend enough to put your phone that way, but it will this way. And so it seems a little bit safer to keep it that way too, because as I mentioned, it starts to kind of bow down. And so I'll just put this in here that and so it looks like you can do that and then to do landscape you can push it up like that so either way you can do video either portrait or landscape which is awesome because it has this rotating ball on here now the other thing i liked about this was that it also lets you tilt it forward or back depending on how you want to hold it so that's pretty awesome too. You just loosen up this here. And that's what kind of keeps it in place. And then you can also make it longer. So it gets like that long. <laughs> and so you can set it on the ground or wherever and have it as a tripod. Now this is nice when you're doing a selfie, which is why this moves here. So you could tilt it up like that and lock it in place. And then take your selfie like that. And it does come with a remote that you can use to take the pictures. But I'm trying to figure out how do you get it out. Oh, duh. 
okay so here's the little remote and you can it came facing down but you can put it in here facing up and what happens is you can click it to take the picture for you and of course you would want this turned this way like that so that you can then click it and it'll take the picture and again stabilize this where it won't be moving around although it still moves around quite a bit let's see what can we do here so you can take your picture like that and just push that button there it does say to charge it so it does come with this usb so you can put it in your iphone port and then this goes here on the side and then you just plug it into your port i'm going to go ahead and charge this because i want it ready for our trip and so i thought this was really neat i think it it does a lot and it's very compact to where you can just take it with you wherever just throw it in a bag and so i thought that was really nice to be able to do that yeah and then you, and so it's it's an all-in-one it you can carry everything together and just throw it in a bag i've started to pack my bag with other essentials and it fits in here perfectly i really did like this and i'll link this down below and you can take this piece off if you want to but i think i'll just leave it all together yeah so it seems really easy to use and so I got that and then I also went ahead and purchased this item here and the reason that I did is because last time we went out of town I didn't take my lighted mirror and I really wanted something that I could stand up in front of the natural light and so I went ahead and bought this one and it's a lightweight travel mirror and I like that it has like the cushion on here because I feel like it'll keep it more safe and I can just throw it in my bag so this is what it looks like inside and I like that this is kind of like my iPad. It'll stand up on its own like that. And it does have, let me take this off just to be sure that it has, I don't like those mirrors that are, make you look blurred. <laughs> so yeah, it has a really good mirror and it has several settings. You can put it on the first one and it's like that. The second one, it starts tilting it forward. And then the third one. This is nice, like when you're doing your eyeliner, you want it tilted as much as possible so that you can do your wing liner. It does have a little unraveling or a little knotted thread there. But I think I'm gonna really like this. I'll definitely just have this in my travel bag. And I won't worry as much because it has the padding on it. I also bought some stuff from Ulta that I want to take because I'm going to have to take something to style my hair or be able to use a product to refresh it. And so I went ahead and ordered this Detox Clear Invisible Dry Shampoo from Dry Bar. But for some reason, this one came without a cap and it came in a different package like usually ulta stuff i get in a box and it does look a little like it took a couple of hits i haven't smelled this it says blanc scent so i'm just gonna spray a little bit and see what i think of the smell it smells good i like it I just wish that, I mean, I'm only going to take one, so I probably could just put the cap on one. But 
It says to allow to dry, then gently rub in, and it's safe for colored hair. So I'm gonna take one of these with me. And with purchase, I did get these for free. And they are the Potty Toddy from Dry Bar and the Thickening Spray. So those two I got for free with purchase. This fits on here. <laughs> so I don't know. It's just, it's always disappointing when you get things that are not exactly how you expect. I'll probably take these in here in this bag with me. And what I have in this bag, since I put all my makeup in that other bag, what I have in this bag is all of my sunscreen. Since we're gonna be in a, a very tree grass uh, river behind us area, I definitely want to make sure that we have enough sunscreen. I really do like this one. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this one in here too, my dry shampoo, because I definitely don't want these to explode in my bag. I do like this Louis Vuitton bag because it is just like wipeable inside, but I still wanna take care of it. And then on the side I have my perfume, my contact lenses, and then a little Neutrogena wipe that I just brought home after the stay in the cabin that we had. And so, yeah, I'm pretty excited. I'm getting all my clothes together and hopefully I'll be able to show you all some of the outfits that I wanna take. So see how this fills that completely. I'm still missing some off so that if there's still some mosquitoes, then I'll be able to put them, put it all in here. And I just got the last stuff that I was waiting for from Amazon. So I wanna show you all really quick before I end the video. And I bought these pack wipe towelettes. And what they are is they're little round circles that when wet expand into a little towel. And supposedly these are multi-use. So what that means is that you can use it more than once, washing them in the washer and then using them again. I bought these because I thought they would be neat to have in case something spills or I need to use it for makeup or something. But basically it kind of looks like a little Alka-Seltzer tablet. And I'm gonna put in a video of somebody activating this because I don't want to waste any. There's only 25 in here. So I was gonna take a few in my bag here. And I thought this was the most compact way to just have that. I also am going to put some in my skincare bag because I am taking some pads but I also want to be able to have something else in case I need to use those. Sometimes a little makeup wipey isn't enough. So here's the other bathing suit that I bought and this is the color here. And that's the way it comes like that. And this one was just $20, I think. I'll link it in the description box, but I thought it was a cute alternative instead of paying $80. It does come with the little pads inside. And so that's pretty neat. I did get a size medium. And so hopefully it's gonna fit okay. I did also like this one because it had the high-waisted bottoms. And so I like that it comes up to my belly button, 
but I'm gonna try these on. Of course, every time I try them on, I try them on over my clothes. I don't put them on. When trying them on, I definitely keep my underclothes on and then I wash them because I wanna make sure that I want to keep them before I wash them. And the last thing that I purchased were these laundry bags. And every time we go, we use those plastic bags from the hotel and I always say I'm going to get some of these and I never do but I got one for me and one for my husband to put our dirty clothes in and they are way bigger than I thought they were going to be don't need <laughs> I definitely won't need this much for this trip but actually we probably could just use one but <laughs> has a smiley face I know that people said in the reviews that the writing comes off at some point because you would want to wash it at some point but it's fine I think that as long as we can keep it in the car I don't know that we would each have one if we were flying somewhere because that might take up a whole luggage space but I'm sure it just depends on how much you put in it and here's the other one so yeah those are all the travel items that I purchased from Amazon I definitely wanted to get these items before we took this trip because every time we go on a trip I always feel like I wish that I had taken the time to get some of these items so that's the end of my video. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.